reminds us, it drives home, that that is the purpose of God the Son. And then we have Emmanuel, God with us. That would be the Son present. The Son present. You know, Christmas is a historical event. It's a real moment in real time with real people. But it is a present event. Because the incarnation is about God with you and with me today. In this moment. In this moment. And so in these three great titles, we are given God the Son prophesied, God the Son purposed, God the Son present. We need to kind of note that here in Matthew chapter 1. I want to close with, a, with an illustration. Years ago, years ago, I attended a conference in, in Chicago, and it was all probably for three or four days, something like this. And so anyway, there was a little host committee. And uh, so one evening, the host committee decided that after the conference that day, they were going to have a little social time and some heavy hors d'oeuvres and that kind of thing uh, on a veranda at the hotel. And uh, so, of course, everybody that had participated in the conference was invited to come and, and participate in just kind of a relaxed social time. And so anyway, so I came down, and, and there was a member of the host committee standing at the door onto the veranda, and she said, Nelson, can I ask a big favor? And I said, well, sure. And she said, I have got to call my daughter. Now, it's very noisy. Where, where you know, there's a lot of people. She, she said, I have got to call my daughter. Would you stand here at the door and just monitor people as they come in? Because, you know, this is a private kind of party. It's reserved space. Would you just stand here at the door and, and make sure that only conference people are, are coming out onto the veranda? I need to step down the hall, make this phone call, I'll be three, four minutes. I said, I'd be happy to. I'd be happy to. So I took my little post there at the door, and, you know, people were coming by, and, you know, of course, it wasn't, wasn't a large conference, so I kind of knew most everybody by sight and not by name. But I could see there was a guy in the lobby that kept eyeing everything that was going on on the veranda. And, of course, the wait staff was bringing trays of food around, you know, so on and so forth. So I could tell, you know, he was working. He was working. So anyway, so he came and, and he, he approaches the door. And I said, can I help you? I had a very nice time up the glass. Can I help you? He said, yeah, I'm here for the, for the party. <laughs> I said, the party? And he said... You have a birthday party. And I said, well, whose birthday is it? And he looked at me and he kind of grinned a little bit, turned around, and walked away. A couple minutes later, my friend comes back and she says, oh, I appreciate you standing at the door and whatnot. She goes, did everything go okay? I said, oh, yeah. I said, there was this one guy, however, who thought he was gone. You know, he, he, he was going to come in. And she goes, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I hope he, he didn't give you any trouble, did he? And I said, nah, he just took one look at this right here. <laughs> yeah, she laughed like Karen did right there. And he got a little look at the, at the biceps and, and turned to one. So I want you to know, for about three minutes in my life, I was a bouncer at the Chicago Hill. <laughs> and I was effective. I was effective. I tell that story because for a lot of people out there, Christmas is a party. Christmas is a party. It's great music. It's a lot of fun. It's gifts. It's travel. It's a, it's a great party. Incarnation doesn't have anything to do with their party. They really don't know what the party's about. They don't know who and what is at the center of that. And so I want you to leave here this morning 
knowing, just being reminded that as you go in to tomorrow, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day on Tuesday, you're going to have fun and it's going to be a good time. You'll be with family and friends and, and all of that. Just be reminded of whose celebration it really is. Amen. Just be reminded that it's about Christ. God the Son prophesied. Just be reminded it's about Jesus. God the Son purposed. Just be reminded that it's about Emmanuel. God the Son present. Just be reminded <coughs> Whose party it really is, whose celebration it's all about. Let's pray together. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, and for the miracle that was and is the incarnation of your coming into the world, your coming into our lives. Lord, for the takeaways we've had both today and last Sunday of a highly favored Mary and of a righteous Joseph. And for the model of obedience and responsiveness that they set before us and the roles that they played. But Lord, as we, as we go into a week of celebration, a party of celebration, all of the trappings of Christmas. May we really know who it's for, what it means, and why we're there. So we thank you for the witness of your word this morning of Matthew chapter 1. And may that speak to us and touch us. Penetrate bone and marrow, the truth grace of your word personified in Jesus Christ. We make this prayer in the name of Emmanuel.